John Wanoa here. I'm in the courthouse, in the Auckland Central Courthouse, and uh, in the interview room. So I'm just going to do a little um, um, talk on, on these documents I've got here that I've given my lawyer, my barrister. And so I just want to explain to you uh, just what's happening uh, with my court case. I've been arrested uh, for uh, Cook Street property so that you can see the fraud inside the uh, land uh, conveyancing instruments of the Vatican's destroyed the trust and corporations and that's what they've been doing for years and so what I'm doing is I'm making them accountable to pay for all their mistakes this way with a pound note and also uh, with the uh, uh, levy debtor instruments uh, that I'm using uh, to against each person one by one. That's what the Pope says, get your land back and uh, make them uh, accountable and pay up for their uh, fraudulent uh, crimes. I'm using the 1961 New Zealand Crimes Act and uh, that's uh, um, what they've, they've put against me as forced entry onto their land. Street, that's just my own uh, ancestors' land, and the Mohi uh, Manukau, um, the Manukau Land Company in Glasgow put those titles together. I've got those titles, the titles down the East Coast, and uh, also the Waitangi uh, Land Blocks titles. I'm talking with King Tauru, the chief there, and his Taumatas, and uh, also uh, uh, Hohepa Ipiha, that's, uh, he's um, put all their Taumata, Taumatua, elders uh, together, the 39, uh, 39 hapus and the biggest tribe in this country, Ngāpuri. So they, uh, um, they formed the uh, partnership uh, with the, with the uh, King William IV flag, the 1834 Declaration of Independence flag and the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag. So I'm just going to read this uh, document, it's very crucial. I'll show you the, the other um, documents that go with it, why I'm saying to Shannon Withers, my barrister, uh, today. I've come in to see him on the train. And he has to read through to understand this for the judge. They've delayed my court hearing from the 8th of next month, May, you see, from uh, 3rd of October last year. Right up till now, it's taken them that long to fathom out this court case, right? Because it's that uh, strong a deal with the British military and Westminster Parliament inside these four pages, okay? So I'm gonna read them out to you. I'm just gonna read it right through so that you've got it, I've got it on record. It just says here, the hui at uh, Marae on the 14th April, 2015, um to raise the, the Whakaputanga, 1834-1835 Declaration of Independence flag on the upper house, Waitangi Marae. But we're treating it as the um, highest court in the land and uh, the King's Bench Court of Admiralty Court Martial Law on the 15th of um, April 2016. That's when we opened up that Marae in the treaty grounds for business in the Commercial Trading Bank of England and the World um, uh, Commercial contract um, uh, business between us and Britain. Okay, that's our partnership with the Westminster government and also with the monarch, King William IV, and also King Ernest Augustus V, the reigning uh, monarch that we use as the uh, King of Britain, UK, King of Hanover and the King of Aotea, New Zealand and Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth of the World. That is a Commonwealth government of the world inside these documents. Here we go. The National Confederation of Chiefs, Hapu, Tribes, Taumata, and Congress Assembly Agreement. Agreement. Opened the Maui Commonwealth World Government and Maori Upper House of Parliament, Waitangi, Marae, Aotea, New Zealand. On the 4th of 2nd, that's February 2016. That's when we opened it up. Raised the 1834-35 Whakaputanga flag to the top of the King William IV Admiralty flagship staff on Ngāti Kawa Waitangi Hapu lands. Okay, so 
that's the Marae yeah, on the tree grubs. We'll put it up, up there, the flag. Uh, um, right, so here we go. Chiefs signed the agreement for the assembled Confederation of Chiefs, Taumata Elders, um, a sovereign land legal authority of jurisdiction over, above, below, and within this land on Mai, Hapu, Native Tahitian Pacific forbearers. Let the first man challenge his alien land title here today in front of the organic native indigenous Mai Earth God Sovereign Spirit Law Hapu Chief Taumata Congress Assembly. With the surrogate King William the Fourth Admiralty Court Martial Law. That me? 1834-35 Declaration of Independence Sovereign Nation State Flag. That's the Declaration Flag of Jurisdiction. So help us God, our founding fathers, ask you to bless this international hapu native upper house of parliament of today. So that's what we did on the 15th of this month, 2016, in the treaty house, what they call it, but we call it the upper house of the parliament, the world government, commonwealth government of the world, King's Bench Court of Admiralty Court Martial Law, wrapped up, all in one place. My Maori and Pacific Islands approve this trade, investment, banking, land, air, sea, cooperative, self-government, new world order business. Four regions, Tomata Collective Congress Assembled, agree that the chiefs sign this contract shall proceed immediately to seize back into its custody the lands of the Treaty of Waitangi grounds and the King William IV Ship of Admiralty Court flag bearing his Maui Hapu 1834-35 Declaration of Independence Sovereign Nation State Country Flag of Legal Authority and Jurisdiction. Enforce this Maui Maori Native Self-Government Congress laws approved and passed, raised the 1834 Hapu Sovereignty Flag from the cross bar to the position at the top of the mast where the New Zealand Union Jack flag drops down into position on the crossbar opposite the UK flag. So on the treaty grounds you'll see that ship mast with the flags flying on it, the flags will swap around. Okay? The British flag, the jurisdiction of King William IV, common law, admiralty laws of the High Court at 1830-1837 X um, amendments to British laws up to 2016 and beyond applies within the UK, British Westminster and for the native Hapu, my God, law, spirit, Ararati, spirit, sovereign native indigenous laws applies in 250 countries, 53 commonwealth countries, and New Zealand and Pacific Islands. These laws stem from my Crown King William IV Commonwealth Government World New World Order New World Order's Eight Point Star of St. Patrick's Church Order Law Bear in mind that Pope Francis made an international public statement on the 1st of September 2013 All trusts and corporations destroyed This order expired on the 23rd of September 2015, enforced up to the 16th of July 2016, when all settlements, conf confiscations, default contracts end. So that's the end of that. Tomata Whakamina attended this meeting 14 to Te Marae grounds at, at 15th of April 2016, Treaty of Waitangi Marae grounds. Uh, Chiefs holds a copy of this Whakamininga Hapu Confederation Agreement sworn out to the Hapu Political Native Government Office shall be kept in the assembled administrators and sheriffs of the county office. John Manoa author, my crown, copyrights and patents. So that's the first page. Now there's a section on the second page on the 6th of February 2016 
the total number of elected national Kalmata Kalmatua native government sovereign ruling authority and confederation of chiefs in Congress assembled unanimously, unanimously passed new laws in the Waitangi Marae Upper House 15th of April 2016 to Bench Court of Admiralty limiting the Prime Minister John Key's lower house of Parliament New Zealand government and Governor General authority to govern New Zealand country um, exclusively from Wellington New Zealand as a consequence of a no-show Royal New Zealand Navy Prime Minister to this week Chief Kingi Taurua terminated John Key's occupation land leases levy debted him his crown clients. Please note this agreement is authenticated as Maui Hapu Native Founding Documents of Discovery Title Statement of Confidence. Okay, the flag is the Statement of Confidence. Straight to Britain and the King of England, Britain UK. King Ernest Augustus, reigning monarch. Okay, he's the sovereign behind that flag living, okay, in London. So that's our authority, apart from Moai authority. Affidavit, this is our affidavit. Kaumata, Kaumata native elders and their Arataki legal law, law, L-A-W-L-O-R-E, scribes, Signed as One Nation, Four Regions, Taumata Confederations, and as separate parliaments, republics of their own four regions. Chiefs who sign agree in Congress assembled to abide by international laws attached to their local region laws in their separate law enforcement states, republics, uh, regions, Maui contract membership. So they're on contract with us. We're still in contract under this um, British monarch system with one go away in a hurry. The Confederation shall meet in Congress on the 28th of October of each year, Declaration of Independence Day, 881 years of this 2016 year, to bring their laws and development projects for funding into the main Upper House of Parliament for the Taumata to adjudicate on to so uh, adjudicate on. They then go away and return on the 4th, 5th, 6th of February to have their laws passed by the Taumata and their native elected governments re-elected on the 5th of February every year or longer. The Whakameninga has its anniversary on the 10th of March of each year, dates of partnership with Britain UK. That's on Kōra Rareka Russell on the top of the hill, that flag. Is the 1834 Declaration of Independence, Maui Hapu, King William IV flag. It's the same flag that they put on to the treaty grounds on the 28th of October 2015. Uh, 2000, uh, sorry, uh, the eight, 28th of October 1835. Okay, about a year later, they raised it up on the treaty grounds, and uh, so that's the one we took over on the 15th. We put these documents into the first court hearing and locked it there, okay? But we are talking from that higher authority straight as the king's surrogate to speak for the king in front of the chiefs, okay? The government didn't turn up. The navy didn't turn up. The police turned up, okay? The police turned up. Paul Tipere from Kerikeri police turned up at the request of Kohepa Ibiha, brought him into the Marae. So he saw what went on and witnessed that with the uh, chief of that marae. Okay? Right, here goes. For those who do not wish to adopt this method of authority, you would not have to take part in it and will have to wait for the next 12 months period or longer. If the majority of Tomata in Congress agree, it's worth the value applied use as a contract agreement at law. So this is for people who are skeptics and didn't believe what I was going to do in the Waitangi Marae and make it into the highest court in the world. Okay, and the, the, the most
most powerful flag in the world is the flag that we're holding over England and America and Canada and Australia and New Zealand. Okay? Do you hear what I just said? That's going to say Britain, this flag. It was King William that put the, the, the mortgage documents together in 1830 to 1837 that applies these documents. We apply those laws. Number one, 1840 Treaty of Waitangi Day celebrations agenda, governorship priorities are who didn't see their our King William IV flag sovereignty. They didn't see their sovereignty either. Mark Williams didn't see their sovereignty. Because why would they? They already had it. Already 1835. Okay. Two, TPPA, climate change, fracking, chemtrails, pollution, corruption, admiralty law used by Obama, signed by the defender John Key. Okay, so that was worth billions and millions then for this contract they signed without our consent of the highest court in the land, in the world. Number three, police corruption in the third party tampering with any land, including Cook Street, any land, transfer mortgage, fraud transactions and identity benefit fraud theft. That's what my case is all about. That's what my case is. That's why I'm here in this court today, is to bring to the attention any court hearing that I'm going to have the weight of evidence. Four, Maryland Court Waitangi Tribunal Settlement claims are Queen Elizabeth II Crown claims and not King William IV Crown claims. Totally different contracts. Two different contracts. King contract, Queen contract. Queen contract, fraud. King contract, no fraud. Clean hands. Five, Tomaka declares, Tomaka is the elders, Tomaka declares the Hapu Upper House at Parliament Waitangi Marae on the Treaty Ground open for business on the 15th of April 2016 private contract law. Okay, It's in business now as I sit in this court as I'm getting ready to come here as a King's Bench Court judge, jury and sheriff in one package deal. Six, agreement between the Rangatira, Arataki, Rangatahi and Whakamininga on the Hapu Manahiri Taumata Collective 15th of April 2016 applies to you. Okay. That's, I'm just speaking as the King Sabbath because I'm a King. I'm the King of Congress, Justice Conrad. Okay, that's all the documents. Seven, my Hapu Nation proclaims King William IV flag legal inside this Waitangi Marae. 15th April 2016, 5 a.m. in the morning, to the British Westminster Parliament and the military, British military and Navy. They're our partners. They're our partners in business now to recover everything. Eight, the Flag Historic Landmark, the Geographical Society Historic Places Trust, authenticity of the Chief Hui Flag Site at Engaere. Uhutawa tree. So we went there and took some videos, me and my uh, private secretary, Jamie Anna Marie Stewart Patrick. Okay? And we went up there with uh, Paulina and videoed uh, the historic site of the first settlement here in this country from Britain. Nine, uh, uh, with the chiefs putting their flags here. Nine, Send budgets for funding, itinerary, political delegation to the United Nations submitted to the Waitangi Marae Upper House on the 15th of April 2016. So everything we written has gone into that Marae in my bank to authenticate. 10. The Rangatira formed a self-government, political authority, submitted laws, portfolio petitions to the Whakamininga Congress on the 15th of April 2016 in that Marae. We just placed it, that's all we did, and passed all these laws. 11. 6th of February 2016, Tomata Upper House Sovereign Authority enforced the Hapu laws on Prime Minister John Key, Crown Government Lower House. So John Key got notice from us what our intentions are, and you're watching it all on Facebook and YouTube, Twitter, and Google. 12. President of 
Havana in 12 countries. Um, CEOs are liable who each signed a TPPA contract with Prime Minister John Key on the 4th of February 2016 is criminal. So that comes under the Movement Crimes Act 1961. I'll put it online and show you why we're going to take each person out and sting them with these documents. 30. Urgent. Taumata from Nui, King John, Kahaki Waino, Surrogate King William IV, saying the timing is paramount. Raise the flag in the upper house in that marae. We had our flag inside the marae. That's what I mean. We had the flag with us. Okay, we were holding the flag. Whakaputanga flag is in 34 and 35 Declaration of Independence flag as the authority in that marae. 14. King John. Oh, I said that. 15. All Tomata elders, chiefs, register sign their native papu into the Marae Crown, King William IV, King George, Law, Waitangi, Marae. So everything is authenticated. 16. Hui at Tuki, Marae, on 14th of April, the day before that, uh, 2016, consolidate the 1834 Hapu Chiefs Whakaputanga flag and the 1835 Whakameninga Confederation and the flag. 17. Hui on the Mat the Waitangi Marae, 15th of April 2016, reopen the Marae Crown King's Bench Court of Admiralty as a business Marae. 18. Three flags hang on the ship of Admiralty mast on the treaty grounds are to be arranged, rearranged to Kingi Tauru's Kawa of the Marae. A. British UK Crown Government Flag Sovereign Authority as trade partners to Marae Native Papu Whakameninga and Confederation. B. Iwi Maori Parliament Sovereign, no Queen, New Zealand and Queen Elizabeth II Partner, Union Jack Flag, no Organic Founding Documents, no Statement of Confidence of Queen Elizabeth to Monarch Seal and Consent is missing as illegal government. C. The Whakaputanga Flag of Hapu, Aotea, and King William IV Crown and Anchor, Admiralty Flag Seal Private Contract Partnership. 19. One flag holds the British Queen's Bench Court Mortgage Lien Bank Loan Authority. Which one? The answer is the Whakaputanga Trade Bank. That's the trading bank of the world commerce flag. 20. Why the 1834 Whakaputanga flag flying on the Treaty of Waitangi ground ship mast? Answer. To trade King's Royal Revenue. And of course. 21. Why the 1835 Whakaputanga flag fly on the Admiralty ship mast? Answer. My Crown Commonwealth Bureau Government. Okay. 22. Who looks after and maintains the 1834 Whakaputanga flag? Answer. Royal New Zealand Navy, Iwi Maori, Crown Corporation, New Service. Okay. 23. Who owns the 1834 Whakameninga, Hapu Whakaputanga founding mortgage levy bank trade flag? Answer. The Maui Hapu Chief. 24. Bury this 1834 Whakaputanga commercial trade bank financial investment flag. Answer. Part of the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. The Maui pound note. Okay. 25. Which flag is the contract bank free passage through the world flag of trade commerce? Answer. The 1834 first mortgage flag. 26. What will happen if you took the Whakaputanga flag off this Admiralty ship mast in the treaty ground? Answer. The Union Jack would have to get its own sovereignty and founding document, which it got from the Whakaputanga flag, and it's impossible to get everyone to accept it on its own. The Whakaputanga flag also represents the Maui Commonwealth Government of the World, the New World Order. 27. Do you want the New Zealand Royal Navy to renew its occupation lease land contract on the land they occupy free of rent to the Hapu Red Chiefs? Answer. Chief Kingi Tauro and John Wanawa, Maui Hapu's signatory to the Waitangi Marae Authority, says 
No. It's okay. So anyway, do you want to terminate the occupation leases plans for 180 for another 182 years at the 10th of March 1834 to the 10th of March 2016? Answer: Yes. Terminate the contract. Seventy-nine. If the Royal New Zealand Navy doesn't come to the Porphyry at 10:30 a.m. on Thursday, the 14th of April 2016, on Tati Marae in front of the Ngāti Tawa Ngāti Rahiri Tapu Red Chiefs, do you want to terminate their occupation land title leases, mortgages, and settlements and deport them back to England within Europe? Answer: Chief Kingi Toto and Toa Mano Marae Uta Uetonga. Say yes. Thirty. The Whakamininga Tapu Pano invited the Royal New Zealand Navy and New Zealand Crown to come and speak to the King Kingi Toto, Chief Kingi Toto, and his elders, Tomaki Tomatua, to ask them if they wish to occupy the lease land their families live on in Russell and other parts of Bay of Islands for another 182 years of contract period time. Agreement with the landlords, Whakamininga or Ngahapu chiefs, elders gathered in Congress assembled on this Waitangi Marae Tapu land. New Zealand Navy families, leaders must appear today. They failed to show up at Kororareka, Mati Hill, above Russell Settlement Village, in the Bay of Islands on the 10th of March 2016 anniversary day for the very first time. Chiefs asked the Chief of Navy, Rear Admiral John Martin, and his officers this question. Do you, British UK Royal Navy, wish to renew your King William IV, King of England, British land lease occupation with his partners, Ngāti Rahiri, Ngāti Tawa, Hapu, private contracts? Navy answer, no. No answer. No answer. 31. They weren't there to answer. We took it as being no. Question. Does the Whakaputanga o Ngā Hapu o Ngāti Tawa, Ngāti Rahiri and Confederation of Chiefs want to seize the Ngāti Tawa land, Hapu lands and the ship of Admiralty and it, its flags, its mast and mana back into the custody of the local Hapu, Fano and Rohu Hapu Confederations as a consequence of the Royal New Zealand Navy no-show to sit at the table and discuss a new contract? The answer is now no. Oh, sorry. The answer is now yes. Sorry about that. I'll read that again. 31. Question. Does the Whakamininga o Ngā Hapu o Ngāti Tawa, Ngāti Rahiri and the Confederation of Chiefs want to seize the Ngāti Tawa Hapu lands and ship of Admiralty and its flags, its mast and mana back into the custody of the local Hapu, Fano and Rōpū Hapu Confederation as a consequence of the Royal New Zealand Navy no show to sit at the table and discuss a new contract. Answer is now yes. <coughs> 32. The 1834-1835 Whakaputanga flag is 182 years old on its anniversary day 10th of March 2016, never had its celebrations as the founding mortgage documents of this country. Are you happy to receive financial benefits from all values that it brings into New Zealand from the King William, King, King's Royal Revenue? Answer, yes, by default. The settlement trade value worth to New Zealand economy, its citizen, since 10th of March 1834, first settlement, date of British entrance at Russell Bay of Islands on Ngāti Rahiri Native Chiefs Hapu land is forfeit to the Hapu. Yes, is the answer. 33. Ngāti Tawa and Ngāti Rahiri Hapu Whakamininga 10th of March 1834 Whakaputanga flag celebration day and the Confederation of Chiefs 28th of October 1835 celebration day are declaring, asserting Proclaiming this Waitangi Marae, House Marae, as the Marae Crown King William IV Memorial King Bench Court. For court cases against the Prime Minister John Key's government, Panama Tax Haven fraudsters, 
cases and other criminal cases under the New Zealand Crimes Act 1961. That's why I'm here in this court today to make this statement. Anne Kimberlin Fourth Acts of UK Westminster Parliament 1830 to 1837 enforced. Okay, I'm saying we're enforcing those laws and acts back then in that Waitangi Marae, highest point in the land. Okay, nothing anybody can do about it because it's a contract, private. The laws are enforced under the my Crown King William the Fourth Admiralty Court Martial. Law, mortgage, lands, levies, land, laws of England. Okay? Do you, the Fano, Hapu, Chiefs, and Tomata Elders, agree to renew the Royal New Zealand Navy land lease contract with the King of England, Britain, UK? Answer No. Terminate the Crown Corporation Settlement Private Contract Agreement as a defaulted absent Queen Elizabeth II monarch sovereign of New Zealand parliamentary panel with no name. That's their Supreme Court that has been opened illegally without a court seal and a statement of confidence to the British Westminster government and mo a monarch. They never got a monarch's written authority to open up the government. illegal. Okay? Don't be afraid to be arrested. They're using these documents to arrest them now. Uh, court and has the seal of the monarch. Statement of confidence. Queen's written consent to govern New Zealand. The answer? Yes by her default. Okay? We want to terminate yes by her default of a statement of confidence missing from Queen Elizabeth II. Monarch sovereign was no longer is. 34. My Crown King William the Fourth Admiralty Court shall enforce its UK New Zealand High Court of Admiralty Law Jurisdiction 1835 and 1852 British UK Constitution on the 15th of April 2016 in this Waitangi Marae Superior Royal Court Upper House of Parliament under He Whakaputanga Hapu o Ngā Ngā Pui Nui Tonu 34 King William the Fourth Kurarareka Kurarareka Hapu Chiefs Declaration of Independence Flag Sovereign Jurisdiction and Natikawa Watangi Marae 1835 Declaration of Independence Confederation of Chiefs Flag Sovereign Authority Self Government Authority Answer Yes Crown Contract Default The Crown Defaulted defaulted on the Iwi Maori contract to the Queen of England. Okay, that's different between the two. Right, here we go. 35. He Whakaputanga flag shall be shifted from King William IV British Royal Navy Admiralty flagship crossbar, that's a crossbar on the mast on the tree ground, uh, ship rammed up on the shore, okay, uh, to the top. We're taking it off the rung of the British flag and putting it up the top. It's always been up the British flag as partners. Okay? We're putting it up the top as ruler. Top of the flag mast, swapping the places of the 1902 Union Jack flag of New Zealand and the, uh, the 1902 Union Jack of the High Seas after the King William IV Sheriff surrogate King William IV Chiefs seized the King William IV Ship of Admiralty and its prized possessions back into the custody ownership of Ngāpui Nui Tonu, Whakamininga and Māori Native Hapu First Mortgage Land Debtors contract, the 10th of March 1834 flag, against the British UK Navy settlement at Kororareka, Russell, and the second mortgage between the eight tribes of Ngāpui Nui Tonu, Confederation of Chiefs and Tribes of Aotea New Zealand, pre-sold the Aotea Land Occupation titles to John Key, Prime Minister, New Zealand, Settlers Government. Land debtors in a contract. Okay, They were sold those titles to them in a contract. The British UK Navy came with their multicultural 
Your King British King William four Queen's Bench Court orders of legal instruments. Settled their British Westminster government laws of succession of titles under private contract mortgage to the Bank of England Acts, paid by British pound note currency money, land acts, deeds and of mortgage instruments of financial investment and security of the British UK military navy flag sovereign authority and the 1834 Hapu First Nation Whakaminina Security Trade and Investment Flag Sovereign Authority. Four, the occupation lease lands settlement of British aliens on Ngāti Rahiri native lands, the customary lands in the Bay of Islands. Okay? They settled on our land. Maori is the first official land proclamation settlement set for another date in this Whakameninga o Ngā Hapu Waitangi Marae. Note for the Hapu Native Council of Chiefs Records. For the record, the carvings in the Waitangi Marae came from Uataha Hapu Marangaro Marae Ki Araro, and the Hapu of Uatohatu, now Te Rangi, Hiruhara Marae Waiapu, ancestral rights to the Utatonga Hapu Marae in Waitangi. The Marae, Waitangi Marae, is an Utitonga Hapu Marae in the titles I hold. Okay, I hope those kaipu to take this kingi to these courts here where I am in the Auckland District Court. Affidavit. Yes, affidavit. It's an interesting birth. Statement of confidence, which is what that flag is, from the King of England, King William IV, on this 15th day of April 2016. So help me God. It's all the same one. I, name, John Kahaki, surname, Wano. Hapu of Uatu Tonga, Uataha, Tipito, Marangaro, Marae, Tiaro, East Cape. Is the job title of Native Customary Legal Advocate, Surrogate, King William IV, Sheriff of the County of the Tai Rafiki region, swear this my solemn sovereign to, solemn sovereign to, so help me God. And I've got the other four tribes, the four districts, which is Te Tai Tokoro, up north, Te Tai, tai Rafiki, down the east, Te Tau Hau Uru, the south, uh, the west, I mean, and Te Tonga, the south, the republics, four republics in New Zealand. Signed by me, email myenergy at gmail.com, phone 0272813963, website maoripowerhouse.com. <coughs> Jamie Anna Marie Matrix Stewart, returning secretary for Chief John Hoan Kahaki Wano, Sheriff of the County, Surrogate King William IV Levy Creditor. Note this page is for other Tomata chiefs and Arataki Rangatera to support this agreement from the 3rd of February 2016 day after. That was the day we had a meeting on Titi Marae for the TPPA meeting for Ngāpuhi. And then the 4th, 5th and 6th uh, was the uh, Waitangi celebrations and swearing these documents in front of them. I stood up and told them what I was going to do, basically got approval to go into the Waitangi Marae on the other side of the Tokaras. Okay. Note, this is a rent chief's landlord organic property title legal document instrument of Maui Hapu natives of Aotearoa New Zealand land. D. Maui Atua Spirit Earth Memorial Land Statue title is our Ngāpuhi Tainui Ngāti Pro Hapu direct descendants Tahitian male line now line DNA, ancestral inheritance, Wa, Noa, royal family links to Raiatea Island, Rapa Nui, Easter Island, Mopiti Island, Nahatua, Ewa, Aotea, New Zealand. Countries, okay? Please sign this He Whakaputanga flag of Maui King William IV, Admiralty, Court Martial Law, Ruler Authenticated, Sealed Documents. We, the Whakameninga o Ngā Hapu o Ngā Puhi, 
Louis Cohen and the Confederation of Chiefs with Tribe Hapu assembled here in Congress swear a Chief Fano Hapu Sovereignty, the first oath of office, allegiance to our Atua My Earth Memorial, God Almighty, God Almighty Congress. Swear a Chief Fano Hapu Sovereignty, first oath of office, allegiance to our Atua Earth Memorial, God Almighty, Tupuna, and swear our second commercial trade bank of England financial investment legal instrument oath of office to our Commonwealth of the Royal British Flag Sovereign Monarch King's Bench Royal Revenue Bank Inheritance Partner King of England King William the Fourth. So those are the two we swear our oath of office to. And then it's signed by um, uh, the King Eatodua, the chief of Ngati Rahi, Ngati Tawa, uh, the oldest man uh, standing on his feet, last man to talk for all males in this country under the Hapu. So, jurisdiction of Admiralty Court Martial Law, banks, and <coughs> um, title, written bank note, title. And signed by Jamie, my private secretary, and signed by myself. King, Chief King, Kingi Toro, 20 years with me, Paramatera of Uetaha, Maranaro, Marae, East Cape, Utu Tonga, Hapu, Indus, Ngati Kawa, Ngati Rahiri, Hapu, Waitangi, Marae, Kororareka, 10th of March, 1834, Whakaputanga flag, founding ceremony, to the 28th of October, 1835, Declaration of Independence, Paul Tibane, News and Peace, in attendance, Ngati Kawa, Kohohepa, Etiha, on the 15th of April 2016, was in attendance as two elders with Rui Paita as the third elder uh, responsible for declaring these proclamations legal. Okay, so that's what I want to say about that. And we have here the document that John P. Tonga statement. Um, where he was um, supposed to be arrested uh, for uh, treason, uh, opening the Supreme Court up. The Tongans published that and got the police file case number in there that I'm going to put through this court in Auckland. Okay, so there's John P. here, the Panama Papers, New Zealand Trust, the centre of Malta money scandal, Mossack Fonesca papers show. Okay, you'll see this on Facebook. And here he is again. I'm, I'm just making these statements on this video. To you, British British military, UK, and also Westminster government uh, uh, and Navy there, that we are asking for your assistance to come here because we've exhausted all avenues of assistance from the New Zealand police, from the New Zealand Navy, and the New Zealand government failed to come and talk to us about this contract we have with you. You are there to recover all the debts we are saying they owe us in pound notes sterling and pound notes Maui King William uh, money from sea. Right, here we are, New Zealand Tax Haven Incorporated. Um, one of the 1% by the 1% for the 1%. Huge leak of confidential documents which re reveals how the rich and powerful use tax havens to hide their wealth suggests that New Zealand plays its part. Right there. Okay, so this is evidence that's in our hearing uh, against John P. personally, as a person. And um, we've already put it in the High Court of Admiralty in London in 2012. Okay, so here on this one, it says here. Uh, the Panama Papers, 1996 Marsac, Fonesco, uh, Fonesco won a 20 year exclusive right to operate offshore companies in the tiny islands state of Niue, 2000 kilometers northeast of New Zealand, with a population of 1190. So that their matters own corporate structures, uh, which is caught up now in the Panama Papers and their full. Um, um, business transactions. When the 
Indonesian Prime Minister Chan Sri flew into Malta for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in November 2015. He already knew he shared some important views uh, with the, his host, the Malta's Prime Minister Joseph Muscat, about the importance of keeping the tax secrets of foreign investors. So there, the law firm ties it all together. All the scam is there. All the scam is here. And here and here. So that's what we're putting together. I'm glad I am here in the court. Well, I'll just film on the way out now. And um, you can see uh, that I'm taking this seriously. I'll just put this in my bag. And we're in the jail out of the court. That I want to take. trip in, into town, and I'm glad I had an impromptu meeting with my barrister, Shannon Withers, and he was very good to talk to me, and I'm keeping this uh, as my own case, uh, because we have the, um, we have the uh, uh, other um, uh, people that were involved in the um, Cook Street Cook Street um, um, occupation, reoccupation of our lands. So now I'll, I'll just take off. Back through this courtrooms and back down the stairs. Just to let you know, I'm in the courthouse. See you later. Tell me